Okay, welcome to the 100 Laws of Success of Business, 100 Laws of Business and Life Success by Brian Tracy. We're going to break down the important lessons in the book and contextualize them to the Cameroonian reality or to the African reality. It is the same experience, uh, basically, that we have across the African continent. And we are going to pick law after law and break it down until we are done with the book. The first law is the law of cause and effect. One of my favorite laws. When I mastered and understood the power of this law since 2016 or so, my career has never remained the same. Understanding the law of cause and effect, business, career, relationships, whatever you find yourself, there is the law of cause and effect. And there's even a video on my website, on, on my YouTube channel, which I did a video on why some people succeed better than us, why some people get to perform better than some people. And, uh, and if you read that book, you see that that's a question that Brian Tracy was asking himself. And there's this great um, philosopher, Aristotle, who asserted that we live in a world governed by law and not chance. I have always emphasized this. Until you begin to be intentional about your career, about your life, you will never handle incredible results. People who live life by chance, you just get up in the morning and you are just living life anyhow. You have no goals, you have no priorities, you have no plan, you have not intentionally prepared your mindset for that day. You are living your life by chance. You just get up from bed any time of the day. You don't have any specific time you get up. You don't have any time you get up to study. You don't have any time you get up to pray. You don't have any time you get up to eat. You're just living by chance. Your day is just empty. It's not programmed. You don't know what you do at 10 a.m. You don't know what you do at 1 p.m. You, you have no idea. You're just living. You're just existing. People who live life like that never create incredible results. Those are people who live life by chance. And you are not, when you live life by chance, you are not syncing yourself with the universal laws of success. Chance does not produce incredible results. People who live life by luck don't produce incredible results. It is time for you to start using the laws of cause and effect. That's why Aristotle said that Everything happens for a reason, whether, uh, whether or not we know what it is. Everything happens for a reason. I always say no plan is already a plan. No action is already an action. No priorities means you have a priority that your life will be useless. Everything happens for a reason. Everything, every result you will ever manifest in your life. Every poor result, every excellent result you will ever manifest in your life will come from the place of law of cause and effect. That's why every effect in your life has a specific cause or causes. I always say all the money right now you have in the bank account is coming from a cause or from a couple of causes. That was, I was telling you earlier, there are people that when they join like the mentorship program, especially, they have never made their one first one million francs. They have never saved their first one million francs. They have never made that money, not because it is not possible to make a million francs in a week or in a month. It is possible. But the challenge is that they, we, they did not have the mindset, the, the, the lifestyle that has the ability to cause the effect that can lead to a million francs for their first time in their life. So every cause or action has an effect of some kind or another, whether we can see it, whether we like it or not. Remember, I always tell you guys, there are some universal laws that I don't care how much book you know. I don't care how you think that, how intelligent you think you are. There are some universal laws that you cannot contest. 
there are some universal laws that you cannot fight. I don't care how much when I have 10 PhDs. There are some laws that God created that are older than your ancestors, that are older than our fathers, that are older than our forefathers. Those laws, we cannot fight them. The only thing we have to do is to sink ourselves into those laws and begin to influence them to work for our sake. And the law of cause and effect is one of those laws. Until you have done something, you have taken an action that can cause something, forget, stop expecting an effect. You get a point? That's why the, the, the law emphasizes that achievement, achievement, wealth, happiness, prosperity, business success, career success, relationship success, are all direct and indirect effects or result of specific causes and actions. Hear that again. The law clearly states that all achievements in life, all wealth ever created, all happiness that you desire, all prosperity you're looking for, all that business success you're looking for, all that career success you determine, all are the direct and indirect effects and result of specific causes and actions. I always tell you guys, I always say something funny. I always say that if I could make it in life to this small level I am right now, I believe that anybody can make it. I am one of those, like many other African young people, whereby when they were born, life was already defeating them automatically. When we were born, life was, when I was born, life was already winning me. I was already like, zero like you know like Cameron was playing is like three knots right i was having zero and life was leading me to three goals to nothing right it is when you're born in a village life is only one knot already compared to guys born in the city number two when you're born in a poor family life is only one knot compared to others born in a family where both parents have jobs or run a business Number three, I was born out of wedlock, means I've never had a father figure. So it my mom was struggling alone. Three not. Number four, I was totally useless when it comes to school. I was consistently last in class throughout my primary school. Number five, I could barely, my, my parents could barely sponsor me. My mom could barely pay my fees on time in school. So I was always sometimes out of class because most, some, sometimes I could not, the fees were not paid on time. Right, number six, I could not go to university like most young people could go because my mom only told me, you know, I cannot see off to And it was a fact, she did not have the money to see me off through university. So there are many reasons why I had not to, but there are some things that I decided to change for myself. A cause and an effect. And there are many of us like that. And sometimes people don't sound as if you have the worst life, you don't. You don't. You have not heard other people's stories. That's why we need to start moving from the place of entitlement, going from the place of self-pity, from the place of complaining and blaming, to the place of accepting full responsibility for our lives and ensuring that we start taking actions that can cause the right effects in our lives, career, and business. Complaints will never lead to a cause. Blaming anybody in your life will never lead to a cause. Your responsibility, your absolute responsibility from today is to start focusing on what can I cause? What action can I take that can cause an effect in my life? What actions can I take? I said, okay, you know what? Life is beating me at my goal, but I'm going to take actions. I'm going to go back to school. I'm going to do all the odd jobs I could do in Bermuda and sponsor myself through school. I remember there were some days in Bermuda that I, I would go work in building construction sites like from 6 a.m. because normally work at a very early 6 a.m. and sometimes they close at, I leave at 3 p.m. From 3 p.m., I go to the car wash or to the washing point where they wash cars and bikes. And I do car wash from 
from six uh, from three p.m. to about seven or eight p.m. Then I used to work in the cyber cafe in the night. I had a night shift in the cyber cafe. I will go there in the cyber cafe, and I, I, I'm gonna do some work in the cyber cafe throughout the night. So that was where I used to sleep actually. And the cyber cafe that was where I was studying while in school. Right, those were actions I took to cause an effect. The only way I, I, I had to study, these are books like this, some people are hearing some books like books like these are old books. So I used to read this book 2012 and 13 and 14. We used to eat them for breakfast. Those are actions that we took then. God, I'm saying we because I have some friends we used to try to do some of these things together. We used to make our mind, we have to take actions to alter the course of our lives. That's why when I see young, a young person that has, you see, have you have parents that are both working. You, you, you have support, you have maybe siblings who are older than you and they're there to support you and many things. And you're joking with life. I'm saying, I, I wish you know what some people are lacking. I wish you know the gold mine you, you're part of. But no matter all of those things, you still have the role to play when it comes to taking actions to cause the right effect in your life. And that's why clarity is very important in this journey. If you can be clear about the effect and the result you want, you can probably achieve it. That's what Brian Tracy is precise. If you can be very clear, if you can be very clear about the effect and the result you want, you can probably achieve it. What kind of results do you want for yourself? What kind of results do you want for your business? What kind of results do you want for your career? There is no way you're going to have, you're going to understand the kind of action you, are, you should be taking when you don't understand the kind of effects you want to see happening in your life. What kind of effects do you want to see happening two years from now, three years from now, four years from now, five years from now? I remember I used to tell my friends that I would get my doctorate degree at the age of 30. In Bermuda by then, what, eight years ago? 10, eight years ago. But meanwhile, I'm saying this thing while we are in a washing point or while we're talking in a, in a building construction site or while we're talking somewhere in a place that doesn't make sense. But I knew that that was the effects I desire to manifest. When I started my speaking career in Kuma, I used to tell my close friend Zivine, I said, I'm going to build one of the most successful speaking careers and training careers from Cameroon to the world. And But Kumbu did not look like it. I was saying those things like the, you know, the highest place they're going to call me to go speak was to travel to villages to go speak. But, it is, but that was the effect I desire. That was the effect I desire. It's an advice entrepreneur. Don't just run your business. Have, have an effect of, of the kind of monthly profit you want to start creating for your business. What kind of monthly profit you want to see last, last year, this year? Until you are very clear about the effect or the result you want, you will not be committed to the actions and to the courses you have to influence to manifest that effect. For mentees, you now understand why there are certain activities I give you consistently, why you have to do them. And the people who are committed to these activities and reporting them to me, they are able to see that consistent momentum in their life. Because whether they like it or not, they are automatically sinking to this universal law of success. And that's why there's a research which says, and Brian, this is stated in the book, the research which says that you can study others who have achieved the same goal, and by doing what they did, you can get the same result. Yes, it's possible. It's possible. Sometimes you don't need to reinvent the wheel. Like, for example, most of all the mentees, the things I teach the mentees, or the, when I talk to them one-on-one, -on -one, and the things I emphasize to them one-on-one -on -one most of the time, I am emphasizing the things I have done. And some now in the process of replicating my lifestyle, they get to also discover their own things. They add to what they have learned from me and boom, they get to manifest their own unique success. They get to do that. 
And that's why mentorship is so powerful. That's why I see that mentorship sometimes, there are many young people that right now, their companies right now in, in, in the mentorship program, they are able to make hundreds of thousands every week, uh, millions. I've never given them money. They are instead the ones that have blessed me, oh, please buy airtime, or they either gift me and bless me with what they're able to make. I've never given them money. The only thing I have given them is my experience, is my knowledge, is the revelations I get from the things I get to study and practice. And I challenge them, I push them, I inspire them to replicate that in their own lives, and they get to ask it to achieve the results. And I have no doubt they're going to achieve double. That's where the power of having role models and mentors get to come in, or coaches get to come in. Because you, you, you get to work with people that can practically reveal to you the processes they went through, reveal to you their patterns of life and their patterns of living, and you can be able to replicate that and engineer the same result and possibly better results because you are also going to bring in your uniqueness and attach to what they're teaching you. When you combine that together, you get to experience that incredible result. And that's why success is not an accident. Stop praying for miracle success. Start praying for revelation. Start praying for direction. Start praying for understanding on the things to do and not to do. That's why I have a lot of men of God who literally get to pray for me because I do work with them. And I'm never asking you to pray for money. Pray for no Father, bless you with money. There's never a day. I don't do that now. You don't pray for money. My highest prayer point is divine wisdom, divine revelation. When you always know what to do and when to do it, there is no success you cannot achieve or attain. And when you do it, there are certain revelations and wisdom and knowledge that when you have them, money becomes a byproduct. You don't struggle to make money. Money becomes a natural byproduct of what you manifest on a daily basis. Success is not an accident. That's why I look at those who have succeeded. I've always given guys an assignment. Look at those who have succeeded. Check what they have been doing. They have done something consistently. They have built their careers consistently. They have built that business consistently for not less than seven years. Go and check. Go and read their biographies. You're going to discover that. That's why Dan Gute said, it took me uh, uh, um, 30 years to record an overnight success. It took me personally 10 years. Some of you have just met me just last year. Some of you just met me just this year. But come on, this is 10 years and 11 years of consistent hard work. There's no success that is an accident. And even the Bible talks about this. The Bible talks about it, the law of sowing and reaping, which says that whatever a man soweth, that also shall he reap. What are you sowing? What you're sowing is the cause. What you will reap, as the Bible says, is the effect. I always say that advanced witchcraft is when a young person desires incredible success while living mediocre lifestyle. And also you cannot be in PPA and you're permitted to be a mediocre performer. You're permitted to be comfortable. You're less than 30 years old and you cannot wake up at 4 a.m. for the next 90 days every day and push yourself beyond your mediocre lifestyle. Something is wrong with you. And I always tell you guys, right? Not everybody in PPA is going to make it, although everybody wants to make it. But not everybody is going to make it because not everybody is putting in the cause. Not everybody is sowing the right seed. This is a community of 100 registered people. But we are 31 of us right now in the morning school. Where are what? Uh, 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 um, 70, 69? Where are they? They are sleeping probably. And this one thing about success. The things you have to do for success to happen, you will not do them at a normal time. Let me give you guys a sign about your success journey. If there are things that you desire and you're using normal time to do, you want to do things normally between um, like normal 8 a.m. to normal 
um, at 3, 4 p.m., 5 p.m., you would never achieve incredible success. Go and read the profiles and the biographies of greatest men and women. They never did incredible things during normal times. Normal times are for babies. Go and check, you'll see. Incredible things don't happen during easy moments. They happen when you do hard things. They happen when you do difficult things. They happen when you stretch yourself beyond other people. Incredible things happen when you engineer them at 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m., like what we're doing right now. They happen when sometimes you walk throughout the night and you forget that you, there's time for sleep. That's when things happen. The world, the, the, the world's richest man right now, wealthiest man right now, uh, um, um, the guy from Tesla, Elon Musk, he, he said that, he made a tweet uh, uh, earlier this year, was it last year, and, 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 and was saying that uh, um, 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 every day, every day he works seven days a week, um, almost 16 hours a day, he works every, every Sunday, but people still call him lucky. That's, 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 that's an insult to his level of hard work. There's nothing like luck in that thing. There's only the grace that has been released over him based on the level of hard work he puts in. I've told you guys this in the special training. I told you guys, there's a level of success grace. There's a level of favor grace released upon you based on the level of hard work you have put in your journey or you have put in your journey. There are some prayer points that some of you are praying. You are praying for certain open doors and breakthroughs. It will not come until you are putting in the right level of hard work and commitments that corresponds to what you are praying for. That grace will not be released. Laziness frustrates the grace of God. Laziness frustrates. That's why there are Christians who can pray day in the night, fast and pray, pray in heavy tongues and all of that, they, they are broke, massively broke. Until Christians used to be broke that they start referring to them as, they start giving example using church rats. That explanation came because not, there's nothing to eat in church. Any rat that is in church is a poor rat, gonna hunger will kill you there because church, there's nothing to eat there. So we've had to wake up and start causing the necessary change in our lives. We've got to wake up. If we don't wake up, a lot of things will go wrong. And one thing about the cause and effect law is that your thoughts are the primary creative forces in your life. You create your entire world by the way you think, very important. Your thoughts are the primary creative forces. I like the word forces. Your thoughts are the primary creative forces in your life. You create your entire world by the way you think. If there is one thing that gave me an urge was that I was so good at thinking that I was not supposed to be where I am. I believed so much. The day, I remember the day I decided to go look for admission in university. That day I had just 1,000 family in my body. I said, no, I went to university. I said, I want, I want admission. That man looked at me. I was way smaller then, way, way smaller. I said, you came with who? I said, I came by myself and myself and plus me one, <laughs> right? But, I, 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 but my thinking was different. My thinking was different. There was something I was looking at. And thank God to this book, The Power of Positive Thinking by Vincent Norman. I read that book, it changed a lot of things. That's why knowledge, when you're down, when you're in your most difficult moment, uh, seek for knowledge. Don't seek for isolation. When you're in your most broke, that's why it's good to have mentors and coaches or people that you can talk to when you're down. When you're down and broken, don't look for isolation. Seek for knowledge. Study the Bible. Pray if you can. Read a book. Talk to somebody. Seek for knowledge and revelation when you are in your most worst moment. Don't exclude yourself. When you exclude yourself, boom, depression and suicide comes in. 
That's one of the best ways to beat depression and suicide thoughts. When you are, if you don't have house rent, you 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 barely you don't know what you're gonna eat tomorrow. You don't know you're you're like in your worst moment. Seek for knowledge. I've I've been there. I'm telling you guys, I've been there. Not only once, many times, over and over. We I'm we are sitting when I'm sitting that day. I don't know how I'm gonna eat the next day. Get a book and read. Feed your spirit. Feed your mind. Don't exclude yourself and think because thinking negatively will never produce results. Thinking negatively in isolation will never advance the course of your life. Never. It has never happened. The only thing it has done is that it has taken away destinies. It has taken away people's lives because in that isolation, they're only thinking of hopeless things. So whenever you find yourself in that situation, please feed your mind. Feed your mind. So remember that your thoughts are your creative forces. You can change the course of your life with that force of creative thinking. It is not what happens to you, but how you think about what happens to you that determines how you feel and how you react. Right? It is not what happens to you, but how you think about what happens to you. How you think about what happens to you is very important. Bad things are going to happen. Difficulties are going to set in, especially with people who don't have the right thinking and who don't have the right spiritual direction and many of these things. A lot of bad things get to happen. Do you know that, 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 that bad things will happen to them? Oh, yes, there are. I know people that are so spiritually rooted and deeply grown. They have so grown that they are so they, they, are, they are so grown mentally, they have so grown spiritually, they have, they have so grown that they are, they are both life challenges. Yeah, they are both that. They are both that. And, and I'm so much growing every day to get to that level. They are both life challenges. It doesn't mean that life challenges don't, don't, don't happen to them. They do, but the, the negativity is meaningless. It doesn't have power over them. It doesn't have any, it doesn't have strength over them. They are above it already. So they just look down when anything bad happens, they either look down and smile and laugh and continue creating life in a better way. In a much, much better way. So it is not, you need to go to the level by it is not what happens to you, but how you think about what happens to you that determines how you feel and react. It is not the world outside of you that dictates your circumstances or conditions. It is the world inside of you that creates the conditions of your life. Yeah, many Cameroonians are so good at this. Though they're going to look at, they'll blame the president, they'll blame the government, they'll blame the parents, they'll blame this, they'll blame that. They focus on using what is happening outside to dictate their conditions and circumstances. That is a very bad way of living. That is one of the best ways to be depressed and to feel frustrated. When you are using outside conditions, to create your life. You're, you're gonna die very young if you do that. You need to get to a stage where it is the world inside of you. It is the you inside of you that creates the conditions of your life. Like imagine that me, for example, that at that time I kept on thinking that, oh, you know, I cannot go to school because nobody can sponsor me. Oh, I cannot become this because there's nobody to do this. Oh, I cannot do this. You know, the, my only now just to go to the village and become a farmer. My only just to do this. I, I use all these outside conditions right now and I'll create a very terrible, miserable, frustrated, useless life out of myself. I'm wondering, so when you do that, you, you kill the potentials inside of you. But when you go inside of you, because when God created you, he dropped something inside of you. He dropped a nation inside of you. He dropped some revelations inside of you. 
And these revelations will not manifest. These revelations will not manifest until you start engineering, until you start engineering that things, those things that, that you desire. So from today, on how to apply the law in your life, examine the most important parts of your life. Examine the most important parts of your life. Examine your family, examine your health, examine your work, examine your financial situation, and observe the cause effect relationship between what you think, say, feel, and do, and the result you are getting. Be very honest. Like, let's start with your family. Examine your family right now. How is your family right now? Look at the cause. Look at how you think about your family. Look at the things you say about your family. Look at the, how you feel about your family. Look at the things that you do in order to have a good family. This is for those who are married. When, like, I mean, direct family. That if you are married or like a replaced family with relationships and all of that. Even you are extended, your other families, like immediate families, mom, dad, uncles, aunts, siblings, all of that. Look at what's the state of the family. How do you feel? What do you say? What are the things that you do that can cause a good effect in your family? Like just this one, I'm buying a gift for your mom or dad or for your sibling. That's an action that can cause a good effect. Examine your health, for example. You cannot have terrible health or maybe a, a shape you don't like or a body size you don't like or, 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 or a stomach you don't like and all of that, or you don't like and all of that. Yet yeah, that is the cause. Something, something caused that. That's an effect that was, was caused by something. Okay, what are you doing about it? What actions are you taking to cause the right effects that you desire? So until you start doing sports every morning or exercise every morning, three times a week, four times a week, two times a week, you are not going to change that effect. What do you say about your health? How you feel about your health and what you do about your health are the causes that can create the effect they're looking for. Examine your financial life. Examine your financial life. Examine your financial life. Look at your financial life. What is causing it? What things are, what actions are you taking? to change your financial life. Because you, the current effects, the current state of your finances right now, it directly corresponds to the actions and the courses that you take. It, it, is, it is not going to grow above that. It is all your financial status is going to, it's only going to improve if you improve the actions and the courses you take in that part of your life, until you increase your, your, your competence, until you increase your value creation, until you increase the skills that directly enables your financial status to be better, you will not experience any change. So there must be something that can cause a change in your financial life before that change can really, really take effect. So begin to think about your thoughts in each area of your life. What are your thoughts creating? What are your actions creating? Are your actions maintaining your current lifestyle or your actions are improving your current lifestyle? And when there is no action at all, you are regressing. You are going behind. You are not improving. So what changes? Now, that is a question I'm asking to you. What specific changes can you make right now in your thinking, in your daily actions, in your daily lifestyle? What changes could you make right now in your thinking, in your daily lifestyle to, that can improve the quality of your life, especially the core areas of your life that you think that they are deficient. I'm talking about your health, I'm talking about your finances, talking about your relationships, talking about your family, talking about your career, 
whatever important part of your life that is deficient, what specific thinking, what specific actions do you need to start taking in order to improve the state of that part of your life? Until there is a change in your thinking, until there is a change in your action, because these two are important causes that will lead to a better effect as far as the law of cause and effect is concerned. Until there is a, a, an intentional change in that thinking pattern, until there is an intentional change in your daily lifestyle and actions that you take, there will be no improvement in the quality of your life especially in the core part of your life where you think that you need immediate change, immediate improvement. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You've got to cause a change. You've got to influence a change. I was talking with someone yesterday and I said something funny. So uh, I'm going back to school to be a program right now. Um, and. Uh, and, and, and she, uh, she was like, are you not going to rest? I'm like, the day I rest, I'll become number two in my industry. I don't want to become number two. The, I must consistently be influencing courses that can create the effects I desire. So entrepreneurs and, and career professionals, probably there's no day you're going to rest. There's no retirement in this journey for some of us. We're only going to get tired in the grave. But it doesn't mean that you should not take care of yourself, you should not enjoy your life, you should not relax and do what you're going to do. But you have to make sure that you are constantly in a place where you are thinking, you are creating actions that can lead to the effects that you desire. You're going to do that. And this law of cause and effect again is so, so powerful that the Bible refers to it again. Whatsoever a man soweth, what you sow is the cause. What you reap is the effect. So let me tell you one of the best ways to accelerate your life. And this is what I do to myself often. What am I causing in my life? I always ask myself like that. In this season, in this particular time, in this month, in this season, in this quarter, in this first half of the year, what am I causing? What, what, if, what, what am I causing that is going to produce the effects I'm looking for? Until there is some sowing, until there is some causes, forget about the effects. You have to be very intentional about that. Very intentional. And as I as we said, success is not by accident and it will never be by accident. Everything has a specific cause or an ecosystem of causes that produces the success you are looking for. And it is your responsibility to wake up, rise up, and begin to take those specific courses around those core important areas in your life and begin to engineer those actions that will produce the effects that you desire. Stop desiring effects without corresponding courses and actions that can create what you desire. You will only become a very hopeful human being with very fake realities. You have so many young people like that. They have very beautiful hopes very beautiful futures in their mind, but they are not taking corresponding courses and actions to influence and engineer the effects that can materialize the hopes and the beauty of their dreams. Hope is hopeless without actions. All right, we can take questions right now for the next 10 to 15 minutes. And we can end the first day of our morning school when it comes to contextualizing the 100 laws of business, life success by 
the great Brian Tracy. All right, people. Questions. <laughs> <laughs>